Hello, Lieutenant Shiny Sides here. It's August, it's hot, I haven't been up to much. So I am going to give you a breakdown to the equipment I use to become a musical genius. This video could break the internet, it's that exciting. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Here we have all the equipment laid out. It doesn't need to be expensive and you don't need a great deal to get started. Okay, so here's the guitar that I use. It's made by Gear for Music. It's acoustic, it's electric. As you can see in a moment, it's got a nice rounded back. The other acoustic guitars are just a little bit too chunky for me. Chunky. As I said, here's the nice rounded back sits quite nice in the, in the lap and on the side here you've got a little control panel for the graphic equalizer and the volume control it takes a little little battery so don't forget that next we have the bass it's a Chauvel model 3b by Jackson and Charvel I think it was uh, one of the top of the range bases at the time by Charvel it's a nice black cherry sparkle colour. It used to be active, but I changed the pickups for the EMG Giza Butler Signature pickups. Nice beefy sound. It plays lovely. As you can see on the back, it is one piece of wood. The neck is not bolted on, so if anything goes wrong with that, it's kaput. And a bunch of ours. That's the bass. I use a Marshall amp for the acoustic. It's actually a bass amp, B25 Mark II. Standard controls, but it gives a really nice warm sound with the with the acoustic. For the bass, I actually do use a bass amp. It's a Laney. I think it's the, the Richter Bass 2. Some nice controls on there, a little bit of uh, uh, compression. And it's also wedged so you can use it as a monitor. For live performances, it's the Behringer XM8500. It's a decent mic, it's quite cheap, and it's, got, it's a good quality. It is quite a good quality mic for the, uh, for the price. For recording, I'm using the Rode NT1A. I think it's a pretty standard for, for most uh, artists at the moment. It's a nice condenser mic. Effects pedals. This one's the Zoom G1X for the guitar. It has, uh, it has a looper and it's got uh, various drum, uh, drum patterns. Plenty of effects. Get some crazy sounds out of that. For the bass, I use the, the bass version again, it's the Zoom B1X, again comes with the drums and it has the looper and plenty of effects for some crazy bass noises. Vocal pedals, this one's the TC Helicon, it is the tone and dynamics, a little bit of warmth, compression, de and shape, nice little addition to your vocals. And also the reverb pedal. It's got about eight different reverbs. You dry your wet uh, button there. Again, nice addition to vocals. To get your vocals into the computer, the Behringer UMC22. It's not an expensive piece of kit, it does the job. Of course, you'll need a tuner, a capo, and not forgetting custom picks. Swifty. And to put this all together we've got this beast. It's a Windows 10 Pro, Intel i5 processor, the Nvidia GeForce uh, GTX 1050i 4GB graphics card 
and we're also using the MSI B150M Night Elf motherboard with dual monitors. Okay, so I use the Easy Drummer 2 program to, uh, to program the drums. It's easy to use, it's got some great features and some great sounds. And finally, I use Adobe Audition to become a musical genius. So if you want to become a musical genius like myself, this is all the equipment you need. So to become a musical genius, you don't need expensive equipment and you don't need a lot of it. All the equipment that you've seen today on, uh, on, on this video is in the description below. Check it out at your own leisure. So until next time, Lieutenant Shiny Sides out of here. Take care.